all right, D, fine. I gotta be creative. How can I be creative? And I wanna give you another analogy. You know, when you think of like music producers, right? Like I watched this one thing on Netflix, it's called Rapture. And for those of you who never seen Rapture, what it does is it goes behind like artists, you know, background and kind of studies their mind. And I, uh, I watched one in particular, it was DJ Mustard. In case you don't know who DJ Mustard is, he does like a lot of the uh, like YG beats or what have you. And one thing, you know, struck out to me was that when he's in this creative state of mind or trying to get influence, right, to create a beat or create a new melody, what he does is he listens to older music like Teddy Pendergrass, you know what I mean, like Parliament, Cool in the Gang, like real old stuff, and it kind of influences the creativity part of it. Because what he's doing is he's taking bits and pieces of what he likes from older material and then he kind of adds his spin to it. The reason why like a lot of the new loan officers or new salespeople come into the industry and they're like, hey man, what's the fastest way you know, for me to be successful? And they immediately think that if they get a mentor from someone who is already crushing it. But the thing is though, is that that's not always the case because that closer or that seasoned veteran that you're trying to get mentored by may not necessarily be within that phase that you're currently in. They don't remember that phase. And what separates me, for example, from all the other season closers is that I work with brand new loan officers. So I get to see it, I get to experience it. And these other maybe season closers, that's not what they do. What they do is just, they just focus on refining their craft and improving their craft and getting better each and every single day. The difference is, is that that closer may have forgotten what it was like to be in your shoes. And so they're giving you advice of things that you just simply don't understand, you don't know about. I guess what I'm getting at is that may not necessarily be the way that you learn how to be creative because you haven't even gone through the certain path of the channels.